Greetings, guys. I welcome you to darkness. I am a kid that is afraid of the dark, as most of us are, but I need to overcome this darkness to try to socialize with people. But there is a reason why I'm afraid of the darkness. There's no main menu for this, so I had to start all over again, but I think it was good I did because it took me a bit of a while just to figure out uh, the beginning part. So, uh, not to ruin too much, but we'll, uh, I'll just, sh I'll show you how interesting this really was. Okay, let's go. Okay, I can examine things by right clicking on them. It's just an ordinary light switch. And activate them like so. I believe this is Alex, which is some sort of artificial intelligence. My only expensive property. Some kind of going away present. Alex, why did you wake me? You wanted me to wake you for your meeting with the boys. What for? You aren't fully awake yet, are you? They want to test you before you can join their club. Ah, uh, now I remember. You think I will succeed? I believe in you, and so should you. Thanks. I need to take my lamp and my lucky marble. Then I am ready to meet the other kids. Huh. How are you anyway? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> I'll be even better if that woman wouldn't unplug me to vacuum clean the room every few days, though. Yeah, that's mum. She has no heart for AI. Should just unplug that light. I wouldn't even notice anything. Are you discriminating on other electronics? I, uh, um, sorry. All right. <clears throat> so, we've got a couple of items here. A kid's battery, and it appears to be half full or half empty, however you wish. I will plug that into this device here, which I have yet to figure out its purpose, but it is a little handheld console. Used it a lot recently. Sadly, it is useless without the battery. Okay, so if we put this down, I think I need to open my inventory first, then click on the item I want, then click on the environment. And I need one more battery. There is a locked unit here. Now, I'm hoping that the combination doesn't change each time, because it took me half an hour to figure out. <laughs> Assuming it's, it's just as easily done. I believe I am Carl, and I am unpacking my stuff. I think we've moved into this new area. I have a computer here and some posters. I like the fact that there's so much detail. Varian is about a guy that is pulled into a fantasy world and gets superpowers and awesome friends, which I lack. I wish something like that would happen to me. I've got a feeling it's going to happen. All right, okay. I should probably put on my trousers first. Trousers? Oh! I prepared those for tonight. Oh, are those clothing? I thought that was a backpack. Okay, so that's clothing I'm putting on. Which is a yellow shirt with a heart on it. <laughs> right, okay, so now I can put on my trusty shoes. Okay, good. Alright. Here we go. Down here, this little tiny strip of paper here. Wrote them for reminders of the combination to my drawer locker. A sudden sound awoke him. I always believed that the uh, error there was a spelling error, but if you notice, when I click on it again, the D is missing from sudden. I thought at first that was a spelling error, but it turns out all the pieces of paper have them. And it took me a while to find. It is an ordinary keyboard. The backspace key only works sometimes any sometimes anymore. Yes. Right, uh, my bed here. This is great. I like the detail on this. Useless! Back down it goes. Mum says that it is warped because of a humidity or something like that. I don't know. Alright. Eh. There we go. Okay. Oh. Come on. I've always had a problem opening this drawer. Stay up! Oh, this is a nightmare. Ah! Get, 
Get up there! Oh, I've got it anyway. You're mine. That is my marble sack, which contains one marble. Okay, now, what's concerning me is there was a clue in there, but now it's gone. It appears they're randomly placed. That's that's not a good sign. But there is another clue back here, which is very well hidden. The thunder class and flashes scared him. I still don't know what that missing letter is. I thought it was Thunder Class or Thunder Clash. I don't know. Skateboard. Oh! Oh, the clues do move around. That was not there last time. A hint for my combination. He sat up and searched for his shoes. Ah, the E is missing. I think these are phrases from a book or something. Deepest armor layer, type A. Socks in all of the manly colours. There's no U in the word colour. This is not an English game. So, uh, there's one there. One in my shoe. One up there. So, is the other one behind this picture of an unknown person? Whoa, look at that face. It's a bit scary, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's not there now. It's somewhere else. i got to find it. Okay. Is it behind the picture of the dog? It is not. I see. Huh. Where could it be? Is it on the chair? No, is it in there? Oh, uh, is it in there? No. Oh, there it is. A hint for my lock combination. The solution is missing. That was different from last time. Message to Carl of the past. You aren't helping. Oh, does that mean the combination is different? Oh, no! Okay. Well, let's enter the old combination first. But these letters appear to be a different colour. I can only pray. Not surprisingly, it was derp. Oh, it worked! Oh, thank goodness for that. The solution was missing in that one. Derp. Boy, did I laugh when I found that out. Okay, I believe this is the flashlight. A futuristic looking ball. A device that brings light to dark places. This is my light ball. A lot less boring than a flashlight. Give me that. Now I can fight the darkness. What's very interesting is when I was selecting the graphics for this game, didn't have the usual medium, high and so on. It just had spark, flashlight, candle and the flashing ball, which I picked. I'm assuming that's the highest quality. Hang on a minute, there's another one here. Ah, oh, through the window he saw a thunderstorm. Okay, so I found five pieces. I like that. There is the other battery. Okay, I have no idea how useful this device is going to be to me, but I will take it anyway. It now works. I shall take this with me. Okay, guys, I think I'm ready to go. I th assume I... Come on. Up. I can go now, right? It is my sneaky way out of here to get to the meeting. I have my light ball and my lucky marble. And out I go! Yes? I should probably preserve energy, though. Alex, turn off the light. Hello, dog. Please be careful out there. Oh, don't be an evil dog. I like dogs. Alex? I'm here, Carl. How can I help you? Never mind. Am I being haunted by my dead dog? Oh, that was the intro? Oh, that was a long intro. I have no idea what this demo is going to give me. 
but I can tell this is gonna be big. It took me about an hour to solve that bit. I'm a little bit ashamed of myself for taking so long. <laughs> This is giving me a vibe of another game I played a while back, but I couldn't remember what it was. It was quite a horrific style of game, but... Ah. It involved the imagination of a kid, but I forgot its name. He had a slingshot for a weapon. Oh, that was the demo! Well, I'm glad it took me that long to figure out. If you want to stay in touch and keep an eye on the progress, please check on the social links below. Y yes, yes, I will. That was extremely impressive and detailed. There you are everyone, that is the demo of darkness. Nothing else much to say. I do encourage you to give that a go though. It seems randomness is a key part in the game and I like that. I've always found random generation, whether it be objects or codes or whatever, to be a key part in making the game very realistic. I'm going to keep an eye on this and when the next part of this is released, we're going to go straight into it. Watch right yourself, the link is below and I'll see you soon. Keep playing.